Good morning and welcome to the school mass of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton School. We have so much to celebrate this week. The second graders have just received First Holy Communion this past weekend. We are excited to receive communion with you today. We are thankful for our wonderful teachers and staff this Mass. It's beginning offered especially for Mrs. Blackwell and her family. Please join us in the singing opening song, hymn number 213 in your songbooks, or number 576 in your blue gathered in praise, hymn number 213 in your songbooks, or number 576 in your blue gathered in praise, hymn number. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we come together to celebrate this wonderful school mass, to celebrate our second communion, to um, prepare our hearts uh, to enter deeply into this holy mass, let's call to mind our sins so that we can approach Jesus with confident trust. Let us pray. I confess. To Almighty, Almighty God. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road. That goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the, Dever, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a core official of the Candace. The, that go, is the queen of the Ethiopians in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran and heard him reading the Isaiah the prophet and said, do you know what you, do you understand what you are reading? He replied. How can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the, re the scripture he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its share is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you about whom is the prophet saying this, about himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning the, with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw no more of him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea, the word of the Lord. The responsorial song will be sung. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and not let our feet slip. Now all you who fear God, while, while 
I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who refuses me not, my prayer or his kindness. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the man in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. We have this really cool story from our first reading today where one of the apostles, Philip, whose feast day we just celebrated this week, where Philip is put in a position, the Holy Spirit has him right at the right place at the right time and gives him the right words to say. Really often, that happens in our own life. We're put in a position um, where the Holy Spirit has us exactly where he wants us and where somebody who really needs to hear something that we have to be able to share. But Philip was prepared, right? Philip has spent all this time with Jesus. He'd walked with Jesus for years and years. He'd learned from Jesus. He'd um, seen Jesus risen from the dead. And so he knew a lot about Jesus. He knew what to say. He knew how to preach Jesus. And so just like you guys have been here, you've been at Mass, you've been coming to school Mass, you've been learning about Jesus in your classes, we have to have the right words. We have to be equipped with what we're going to say when the Holy Spirit puts us in that position. So imagine to yourselves for a minute that maybe one of your friends or um, maybe somebody who you kind of know but don't know that well starts asking you questions about why you're Catholic or why you go to Catholic school or why you got to go to Mass all the time and um, why you believe in this Jesus guy. If you were put in that position, like Philip was put in, what would you say about Jesus? What would you say about your faith? Raise your hands. Yeah. Okay. 
to learn about God because I really like to. I really enjoy it, right? Okay. What else? What, about, what, what else would you, somebody who was questioning or asking about Jesus, what would you tell them? A couple in the back. We'll start here. What do you know about Jesus? He is strong. What else? He teaches us to be kind and good. Jesus has a message of kindness and goodness. Yeah. He loves us. That's a really, really important one, right? So if somebody asks about Jesus, you got to start with Jesus loves you, right? We have a whole song about that and everything. He died on the cross. So now we're getting to part of what Philip said, right? Philip told the Ethiopian eunuch um, that Jesus loved him, that he died on the cross for him. And what else would you tell him? Over here, yeah. Okay, no worries. Jesus will never forget you. No matter what, Jesus will never forget you. He was risen, right? He died and was raised. And that means something really exciting for us, right? If Jesus is raised, what about us? That's okay. Always forgives us. Yeah, his mercy is always available to us. Yeah. He's the son of God. Exactly. So, so Jesus, let's see, this picture that we're putting together. If some friend needs to come and know about Jesus from us, we need to tell them for sure that Jesus um, loves them very much, that he died for them, that he is risen. Because Jesus is risen, we can be raised too. That Jesus can forgive them of all of their sins and lead them to happiness and, and the joy of heaven. Right? All the, the good things, the kindness, the goodness, the virtues. That's really good. So we have to have ready in our minds, ready in our mouths, what we would say when we're called to be evangelists, when we're called to tell people about Jesus. We have to know from our own experience what Jesus has done for us, how he um, loves us, forgives us, died for us, so that we can share that in the right moment. What about today when Jesus, what if instead of reading from the Old Testament, this person who you encountered was reading from the sixth chapter of John, which is where our gospel comes from today. What if they were reading about the bread of life discourse? Where are my second graders at? Right here? What if they were reading about the bread of life discourse and they said, and they got to this part where it says, Jesus is the bread of life. How would you explain that to them? Do you guys know? When Jesus says, my flesh is food and I am the bread of life, how would you explain that? If somebody asked you, who is the bread of life? Or what is the bread of life? I know you guys know. Don't be shy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh-huh. Right, so what did you guys just get to celebrate this last Sunday? Your first communion, right? And who did you receive in first communion? The body and blood of? Jesus, right. And so you guys now have experienced, you know, you've received Jesus, body, blood, soul, and divinity. When somebody asks you, what the heck is John 6 all about? How can Jesus give us his flesh to eat? How can Jesus give us his body and blood, you can tell them about what? About receiving Holy Communion, right? And you can tell them how receiving Jesus' body and blood, receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, totally transforms us, totally gives us new life, helps us to share in Jesus' own life, and strengthens us to be the saints that God is calling us to become. And that Jesus is so generous, so merciful to us that he doesn't just stop at, at words. He doesn't just stop at, at kind deeds. He actually gives us himself, body, blood, soul, and divinity to, to, to consume and to transform us and to make us like him. So all of us have to have that ready answer for when someone asks us, why? Why do you believe in Jesus? Why, why do you have to go to Mass all the time? Why is communion, receiving communion, such a big deal? It's because Jesus has told us in the sixth chapter of John and elsewhere that this is my body 
this is my blood, and whoever receives me will be safe for eternal life. Make sure you have that message ready to go and receive Jesus reverently and with great love every time you come to Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us stand and bring our petitions to our loving God. The response to the petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests, deacons, religious seminarians, and church ministers. May they always be an example of the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in positions of authority in nations throughout the world. May they reach out to each other in peace and friendship to work toward peace and justice for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. We pray for a school comedian for all the men and women serving in our country in the military. Bless them with strength and wisdom to follow and lead in your ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. We pray for those who feel like they have no hope. May they find love and comfort of Jesus during this Easter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the canonization of Father Stanley Ruther. May he be proclaimed a saint by the Universal Church, living now in your presence and interceding for us all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the sanctity of human life will be promoted and protected by all who govern and legislate. Give us the wisdom to elect good and responsible leaders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those of our community who are sick and suffering, especially Ashley Lyon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who have died, especially Ms. Hinton's brother, the black dog grandfather, and the doll grandfather. May they enter your loving presence and find peace in your arms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own special intentions that we hold close to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, who do not withhold even your own Son, we ask you for these, our needs, in addition, that we may serve you faithfully today and always. We ask them in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we, holy, we, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Elizabeth, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
please join us in our communion hymn, number 207 in the student songbook, Here I Am to Worship, number 207.
Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Would students from Mrs. Hinton and Mrs. Lang's classes please come forward and would those classes stand? My dear friends, this is the vocations chalice, which will be your class's duty to hold the chalice with respect, to pray for vocations, and to encourage those God's calling to serve his holy church. Is your class willing to accept the responsibility of praying? Yeah. We are. Receive this chalice and return it filled with your prayers. Thank you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hope you all have a wonderful day and are ready at any moment to tell people about the love that Jesus has for them and about the mystery of the Eucharist, the body and blood, the bread of life that we receive every day. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Our closing hymn today is number 306 in the student songbook, Soon and Very Soon, number 306. Also in the gather hymnal, page number 865.
Thank you to Mrs. Hinton and Mrs. Lang and the second grade classes for hosting our mass today. These students and staff are having birthdays this week. Please stand as I call your name. Tristan Kuhn, Tulane Thompson, Olivia Francis, Madison Hazen, Mrs. Norman Peterson, and Mrs. Corrigan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of creation, we praise you for all those gathered here today. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year of life. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their life. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us extend our hands for the blessing of our friends. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Amen. Amen. May the God of love make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight and surrounding you in his love. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy birthday. We also would like to offer our most sincere and proudest congratulations to our second grade students for receiving the sacrament of Holy Communion. So please join me in congratulating them. Second graders, please stand. There is no greater joy than watching those students come forward for Eucharist. Um, I'd also ask that you pray a special prayer for our middle school students today who will be on a net retreat right after this Mass. So we pray that they will be open to the Holy Spirit and listen to the messages from our retreat team today. Um, students, today there's a funeral right after Mass. And so the casket and the flowers and some of the family members are already here and ready to pay their respects. And so we've done this before, and we know about how we enter, excuse me, how we exit Mass when this is the case. We know that we are quiet. We know that we are respectful, and that is really for respect for the deceased person and respect for the family members and the loved ones of the deceased person. So does everybody understand why it's especially important today to leave Mass in a very, very reverent and respectful way? Today we're going to dismiss one group at a time, and so I am going to start today with our middle school students. If they will go ahead, remember to genuflect to show reverence to the Blessed Sacrament. Middle school students, you may head out reverently and respectfully and head to the Great Hall with your teachers. <laughs> 